you have been learning data analytics wrong and in this video i'll be showing you how to get started or how to do data analytics in 2023 so just think about this video as a data analytics roadmap in 2023 from zero to data analytics so i receive a lot of messages in my email in my instagram dm or my twitter dm and how a lot of people even reach out to me asking me how do they break into data and, and analytics i mean i have a video of this on my youtube channel but then again i sort of feel it's not as comprehensive as it should be or as detailed as it should be because it's just me just recommending courses right how about if you have a different background in terms of like you're coming from a history and education background right how do you get signed data analytics or let's say an art background how do you get signed into data analytics before i go on just let you know that there are different noises out there about what to learn when getting started in data analytics right however this platform is called enterprise dna and it literally provides a personalized learning plan for you based on your goals your current skills and also your schedule as well too so it literally recommends the best courses for you and suggests the deadlines to keep track of what you're learning and that's what i love, love about this platform because it recommends a learning guide for you it recommends the goals you want to achieve as well as the skills you're looking to acquire and the industry you're looking to break into so it creates a personalized learning plan for you and also keeps like tr tracks your schedule as well to rise and i'll be giving you in detail how to get started and also show you the different courses it recommended for me based on my interest so let's go along guys for this video the link will definitely be on the description as usual right so let's get started with how to even create that learning roadmap for yourself in 2023 first off we're going to start by using the link as i've mentioned to sign up for this platform and first of all in doing this you create your account and then you then go on to create that learning roadmap for yourself right and one thing you'll notice is that it tells you to create your personal learning plan based on your goals your current skills and your schedule and then they recommend the best course for you to take guys and now the first question is being asked is what are your goals do you want to become an analytics master do you want to change your career do you want to start your business so whatsoever i want to do you want to get a promotion as well to write so whatsoever i want to do this platform literally creates that learning roadmap for you personally i think that's what i love about this so i'll just click that i want to change my career if i'm a newbie just like as many people are watching this video and then again you're then asked to select your preferred learning path right so do you want to be a power bi data analyst do you want to be a power bi visual expert right what do you want to be do you want to be an advanced analytics expert also it is it helps you create that plan for you we we'll go on to the tools right what tools do you want to learn power bi python even chat gpt guys excel sql 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 whatever it's also select based on your based on that as well too and then we see what skills are looking to learn data analysis data transformation um analytics advanced analytics business analytics data strategy what functions right and now what i'll tell you is about this function is that this is the one that really chills me personally guys because in here you actually get to know or find out what domain knowledge you already have existing right or what domain knowledge you also want to pick up because here you can see different functions such as hr marketing customer service sales finance accounting i mean one thing i literally tell everyone is that understand the domain knowledge you want to go into as well as understand the domain knowledge you want to break into so you understand the industry you're looking to pivot into right and this literally helps you by creating that for you interested and then we click on any of these legal finance accounting r d administrative you know pretty detailed sales data whatsoever you have it in here then next we're going to then go on and choose our industries right you want to go into transportation for me i'm currently in the telecommunication space so definitely i have chosen telecommunication i've worked in the finance space so i chose finance as well too then uh, transportation is also a field i'm interested in as well so also pharmaceutical there is government there's energy there's fmcg as well too right or even any general industry now yeah is where all the magic begins guys right you get to see your personalized enterprise dna learning plan <laughs> and you can see that i literally recommended 31 total courses 40, 14 total hours five total tools that you master and learn eight total skills down to the t guys so it means that you can literally spend that's one hour so let's say you're breaking it into, into like for let's say four hours a day right you can literally complete this course because you even get to learn dax formula patterns mastering reports development scenario analysis deep dive a lot of well detailed and also sorry to even cut it short you also learn 
the uh, Microsoft Power BI Data Analytics exam as well too by Microsoft themselves. Guys, like this is mind blowing. So you can literally go from zero to a data analyst and also even getting a data analytics certification. I am so excited about this. So let's go on and let's see what next. So also Python for Power BI users as well too. There's also R for those who are looking to break, use R as well too. Also how to optimize DAX. DAX is used for advanced calculations in practice of Power BI. So now let's look at our learning plan and let's just get started. Now I'll just give you a walkthrough as to different courses. Now I love this ultimate beginner's guide to DAX because in here you get to even understand a lot of fundamentals and how to even get started with it. One thing you'll see is that you actually learn what is DAX. You also learn how to even use it in Power BI as well to understand the basics of DAX calculations, you understand the formula syntax, how to comment in DAX, how to calculate statements, and all this is just for what two hours of video content. You learn when and how to also use DAX as well too, and the different unique concepts that exist in DAX. That's a very important function in Microsoft Power BI, so it's very good and important that this platform actually has this course. The course that is recommending for us is telling us to take the beginner's guides to Power BI, right? And as you can see that the course is actually just designed to provide you with a solid foundation of Microsoft Power BI platform, right? So we're going to go on and see what this course entails. And one thing I like to start off with this course is that you also get to understand or even have an outline of what the course is meant to do and what it contains, right? And it says that even to get started with that, you literally do not even need no requisite for this course so wherever you're coming from whatever background knowledge you have you do not need anything requisite for this course which is really good right and then it also tells you oh by the end of this course you should have learned certain things so let's go on and see what else you understand dax dax formulas for data calculations you apply data modeling techniques for effective analysis you also learn to define on um, power bi components as well too and their functions and it's literally just like a two hour self piece right so we as i earlier said it has created that schedule for us and the time that we we'll spend on these courses and it's beginner friendly as well too and the mode of delivery is like more like question and answer self-study based right and it's a recent course guys this was published in may 2023 so you can bet that it's a recent course very recent so let's go ahead and just see a, a quick review of this course so we're going to look at creating a date table in microsoft power bi and in doing so, one thing we'll notice is that we it tell it takes us to the Power Query part of Microsoft Power BI. We have our sample data already imported as well too, and we're able to transform the data as well too, right? And to get started, we can see the different um columns in the sample data sets, um, date, category, products, warehouse, the zip code, and the format in which all of these columns were actually formatted for us to have this data in here. We also get to learn advanced editor as well. And as usual, one thing that I would always, always tell you about in terms of how to even select a very good course is ensuring that these courses also have access to labs or let's say like take home assignments or like take home assessments, right? So now workouts are literally more like weekly or I say weekly, like once in a week or sometimes also have workouts that could come out on Mondays and Thursdays as well too, right? That means is that you also see different workouts and have access to different workouts where you can strengthen the knowledge that you've gained, right? And yeah, we can see, for example, that we have different workout sessions available. We can see some in data visualization, weekly practice exercise posted every Monday. There's even some in the use of Python as well, so that happens if that comes out every twice in a week on mondays and thursdays there's even the excel bi challenge as well too so remember that this course is not just microsoft Power bi intensive or excel only intensive right or sql only intensive but rather this learning path has helped us create a holistic learning platform ac across sql across microsoft power bi across cell as well too even chat gpt as well too and that's one thing i really love and also python or r depending on what program language you want to learn. Also have a well detailed objective as to what the workout is looking to accomplish pretty much, right? And also tells you how to even go about it as well. So able to see like a sample of what the visual should be like or what should be expected. We're also seeing how the submission should also be done as well too. And we're seeing that in some cases, you may have to attach your Power BI file to it along with your DAX items as well too. You also get to see 
how many people have actually taken the tax as well so talk about community having a very good and thriving community i speak a lot about how it's part of a community and yeah we have this right and we can see even different solutions other people have created and different visualization that people have also like put out as well so that's one thing i really love about this the thriving community so there's something called builds so builds are literally workout sort of right that helps to master hands-on data projects and helps you also gain experience in tackling real world problems we're going to look, look at an example of a particular build in here and see one of it right and what we can see is actually how to even do a twitter thread analysis so recently i actually saw a twitter thread analysis of someone who actually did a twitter sentiment and engagement analysis project based on David O timeless album and literally the project was literally just aimed towards um creating insights behind like David O album right and we know that timeless was released i think 30th of march so all of data collection was done on twitter scraping the tweets from twitter um cleaning the data and also visualization and the likes so for this twitter threat analysis you actually learn how to use twitter related data sets and showcase some interesting insight based on the text of the tweet and also reference them as well to your analysis right and we're going to look at how this actually even works first up we have a list of step right we have to collect data sets of tweets that mention a particular stock in this case we're using stock right we're also going to pre-process the tweet data as well to write we're going to clean up the data we're going to extract features from the tweet data right the volume of tweets as well too and do sentiment analysis by the way guys one of the many projects i do have listed on my cv or my resume is actually sentiment analysis because i think for any industry I actually want to break into sentiment analysis is an important factor in actually determining what your customers or people that use your product think about it right so you're going to learn about the sentiment analysis of the tweets whether it is positive negative or neutral and good thing probably actually has that integrated right um also the length of tweets as well to the time of the tweet and we explore the data as well as interesting insight that we can get from the tweet and good thing is you also have something called deliverables so you'll also be doing a report or a summarization summarizing the findings and conclusion of the analysis it could be um as a visualization of the data in charts and graphs or however guys i think if you're looking to get started i have literally provided you a more detailed platform right that takes you from start to finish one other one is also certification as well to write now certification is for those who are looking to probably gain a certification or become certified in microsoft Microsoft has like a couple of certifications available we have a data analytics we also have some other certifications as well to write and if you want to become certified you also get to learn how to become certified and even the course to become certified as well too so i think with all these there are really no excuse when it comes to learning to bring data analytics because you are given a well-guided and curated courses to begin with as well as projects even put on your portfolio as well too so i want to hope that this video actually gave you some insight as how to get started in data analytics and how to go from even having no knowledge of data analytics to even becoming a hero or even certified right as well too so if this video actually helped you let me know also comment as well too what do you think let me know what courses you're also taking as well too and let me also know how it's going for you to whether you really enjoy it and whether it's actually building the relevant skill that you want also for those who are looking to pay you out as well to so let me know if this is actually a relevant platform you're looking to use to learn as well too and that will be all for it right now guys thank you so much for watching and ensure to also like as usual and share as well as also subscribe and turn on the bell notification if you haven't till next time see you guys bye